Good morning, bright and early this morning. It is 6 a.m. I just finished my workout and I've had some comments that people want me to share more of what I eat in a day. I'll be honest, I pretty much eat the same thing every day for <laughs> breakfast and lunch usually. Um, right now for breakfast, it is a breakfast sandwich. So nothing too crazy exciting to show, but it is really yummy. Um, so I showed the bread that I used the other day. I just use one slice. I cut that in half and that's what I make my sandwich with. And then this is the cheese that I use, ultra thin, mild cheddar. I use one slice of this. I love avocado, so I do some of this on my breakfast sandwich. I love it in these pouches. It's so convenient to just squeeze onto my toast if I want some, or my sandwich, or in my salad. I usually put this in my salad at lunch every day. That one is almost gone, so I grabbed another one. And then I do turkey bacon. This is the kind that's super easy. You can just pop it in the microwave. Um, I do two slices of that, so, and then I do a little bit of butter to toast the bread with in the skillet. So that's it. That's my breakfast. Super easy, super yummy. Gets me a little bit of protein in the morning after my workout. And this is what I eat every day for breakfast. <laughs> Once I find something that I like, I kind of hyper focus on it for quite a while. It was fruit and yogurt and granola. And I had that every day for breakfast for probably a couple of years. Right now we're on breakfast sandwiches. I am not an egg person. Most people would probably maybe throw some egg on here, but I'm really, I'm, I could you know, like give or take eggs. I, I'm not a huge egg person. So th this is my go-to, turkey bacon, avocado, and cheese. Good morning. I thought I would check in this morning. It's about 8.30. It's December 7th and I am getting ready to package up a couple of things and take them to the post office. I have a swap package um, that I did within the membership and then also a prize. So I've got two things to uh, package up and get out the door and then I have to stop at the grocery store for a couple of things. Um, Sorry, getting my computer pulled up here so I can get <laughs> the packages, the shipping labels printed. I've already got all my cleaning done for the day, so that feels really nice. Wyatt has requested that I make brownies in a bit. Um, no recipe to share because it is literally just a boxed <laughs> brownie mix that I will be making um, later today. So that's kind of what's on the agenda for this morning anyways. I have not even opened up my advents yet. I kind of went into today with the mindset of get done what you have to get done first before you you do what you want to do. So I'm, I'm focusing on getting the things done this morning that I need to get done. And then, then I will dive into the advents and open all of those. It gives me good motivation to get things done. That's for sure. <laughs> back home and I've switched laundry, put some groceries away. I had to make a stop at Kroger for a couple of things we needed, but now I am ready. I'm armed with a cup of coffee. I'm going to get Vlogmas from yesterday edited and I also am armed with this. Dark chocolate peppermint truffle. It's private selection, which is a Kroger um, brand, I believe, but I've never seen these before. I saw them at Kroger when I was walking through. I ate one in the car. <laughs> I had to open it as soon as I got in the car. It was like a bag of them. This is amazing. This is better than the Lint 
chocolate, peppermint, chocolate, truffle, whatever those are that are like seasonally, this is better, hands down. And I love those things, but this is better. So I may have grabbed another one before I came down here to edit Vlogmas. So I'm gonna get to work. I still haven't opened my advents yet today, but I'm kind of liking this focus on what I have to get done first and then, then what I want to do. It's working for me today. It's feeling good, feeling very productive. lunch and I thought I would share since like I said earlier this morning I had some people ask about what I eat in a day it's really pretty boring um, I eat the same thing every day <laughs> for breakfast and lunch but um, people ask about snacks honestly I don't I'll just grab things here and there this morning the little dark chocolate peppermint truffle was my morning snack and it did not hold me over very well so I'm very very hungry um, in the afternoon I might grab like some pistachios, or if we have tortilla chips and salsa, I'll grab some of that. Um, lunch is usually a salad here lately, or like rice and chicken. Um, sometimes I'll do sandwiches with turkey, but today is a salad and my dressing, I'm heating up the oven to make Wyatt some brownies, but my dressing came out so much of it. There's way too much dressing on this, but this is, is my salad. I'll turn the camera around and show you what I got in here. Uh, yeah, you can see that is so much dressing, way too much, but <laughs> I've got lettuce, tomatoes, chicken. Eric will typically do chicken for me in the air fryer. He just seasons it pretty lightly with like salt, pepper, garlic powder, cooks it in the air fryer. And then I have that for salads for the week or like I said, chicken and rice, something like that. I've got Colby Jack cheese, black olives, baby cucumbers, and that's it. And the dressing that poured out way too quickly on me is Primal Kitchen Buffalo Ranch. I love everything by Primal Kitchen. I use their mayo, their balsamic vinaigrette is really good, their ranch, but this is delicious. And it's a good thing I like it.
just finished winding up my advents and I had to show you all this because y'all are so much smarter than me. <laughs> so many of you were like, oh, why don't you just turn the ball winder sideways? And I didn't even, I didn't even think about that, honestly. It never crossed my mind to turn this sideways. As you can see, this extends a lot further. It could go even further now, but um, yeah, perfect. A lot of you said keep it facing this way, but turn this 90 degrees, that didn't work. Um, the yarn would not wind properly. But this, perfect. Now, I mean, if Eric can still do the other, like a board, that's great. But if not, this, this works, I'm happy with this. My order from The Littlest Charm Co. just arrived. Let's see if I can get this to focus on him. Oh my goodness. He is so precious. Let's see. There we go. Maybe. Look how cute. I'm going to put him on socks, so I'll show you on there too. And then she also sent a snowflake. Love it. Cannot wait to use these. I'm also almost done with my Grinch striped socks. So there's gonna be a new cast on very soon. I'm hoping I can finish those socks today, we'll see. All right, it is 1.50 and I am just now about to knit for the first time today. <laughs> I think a lot of people think I maybe knit all day long. And the reality is a lot of days are like this where I don't knit until one, two, three o'clock. Um, unless I make myself take some time in the morning. Sometimes I do that, but lately I've kind of been in the get up, get moving, get your stuff done kind of a routine, I guess. So yes, now though, now though, everything is done. Eric does dinner most nights, so once I'm done for the day, I do have one load of laundry in the dryer still, so that's the last thing I have to get done, work or housewise. Um, but Eric does dinner most nights, so once I finish my stuff for the day, I'm usually done and can relax and knit. So that's the plan for now. I have all of my advent skeins aren't they so pretty together today i think those look so good together um, but i have those all here my blankets here my socks are both here both my sock projects and i think i can't remember if i said earlier but i'm almost to the toe yes i think i did when i showed you the charms i'm almost to the toe on the striped grinch socks so i'm hoping Maybe I can get them to the toe or done. I have about an inch, almost one and a half inches on both socks to go. So we'll see what I can get done. I will, of course, take you along. Do you guys see Mr. Santa back here? I don't know that I've shown him on Vlogmas yet. Let me grab him really quickly. This is my Santa tissue box cover. If you have watched for a while, you remember me making this, but um, I'll try to see if the kit is still on Mary Maxim and link it below if so, but Is he not the cutest? I love him so much. I really need to make more of these tissue box covers because I feel like once you have, have a few for holidays, you need more. I have a haunted house and I have Santa. Those are the only two I have. <laughs> I need a like, at least just like seasonal ones. Don't have to be specific holiday ones, but seasonal ones because now I just cannot have a plain tissue box sitting. I need to have a tissue box cover. He's just the cutest. It's the time for all to move in closer. time for all to settle down leave their worries all behind take 
take it slowly and unwind and bring the peace back to a torn and shattered world let us share with all a merry christmas let us bring the great Settle down.